Hello everyone, this is going to be a review of four film favorites, Dracula's, um, this is a four film favorites of the Hammer Dracula series, just in random order, this isn't going one, two, three, four, I believe this is because some companies own different rights to the movies, and this happens to be the four movies that, uh, should say Warner, Warner Bros. owns, should say Warner on the side somewhere, but, yeah, right there, if I can get the camera on that, focus, Warner Bros., so, <laughs> this is a really nice DVD, it costs around six, seven, eight dollars or something, but you get four movies, four of the classic Hammer Draculas, first one, the third this is like the sixth, and this is like the the fifth. I'm a little sorry for not uh, knowing the order, but it really doesn't matter. The continuity, you don't need to watch any previous ones to know what's going on. They're pretty fun to watch, and they're pretty easy to watch. So, the discs come with, you know, trailers, subtitles, of course. That's what they usually do. But I like the trailers. I like a DVD that comes with a trailer, so I can watch the trailer. That's always nice. Um, it's widescreen, so, you know, that's good. Uh, I found it. This is weird. Now look at this. Horror of Dracula is not rated. Dracula is risen from the grave is rated G. And there's a lot of violence in it. <laughs> and then Taste the Blood of Dracula is lit language and terror violence. And then Dracula 80 to 1972 is PG. So these two are G and PG. So a Dracula movie is rated G. A violent, quite violent Dracula movie where stakes are being put into people. It's pretty crazy. I'm guessing the MPA actually came out this year. It was 19... Uh, what was it? Um, Fuck, I don't know, sorry, but this, uh, I know that this Dracula's Risen from the Grave has came, came out the year that the MPA, MPA came out, so maybe they looked back at it and was like, oh, it's Dracula, let's rate it G or something, but that's weird, because Dracula is a pretty, you know, violent movie. About a vampire, vampires that bite people. So it comes with two DVDs, which, you know, that's what they usually come with. And they come with these double-sided discs, which I hate. I hate these things because they're easier to scratch. But it just comes with this, you know. This day. Fuck. Well, I'm scratching up right now. Huh. Uh, it doesn't come with any booklet or anything, you know, in the side. It doesn't come with any booklet, which was kind of disappointing. Um, I thought that was a bummer. I usually like to look through those, you know, check out what's in them. But... There's the pictures up there. You know, horror that never dies. Tales of Dracula from Hammer Studios. <laughs> so, I hope you guys enjoy this review. Um, it's pretty quick, but nonetheless, this is a very fun set to watch and a very fun set of movies. I highly recommend this to any classic horror fan or any modern horror fan that wants to, you know, kind of watch the classics without. You know, these movies are quite modernized, actually. They, they don't feel real old, which is the real beauty of them, is they revolutionized horror movies in the way that they're violent, bloody, you know, they're in color. Horror of Dracula was really the first famous uh, Hammer movie. I think it was, I think Frankenstein might have came earlier, but I think Horror of Dracula was more popular. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you later.